Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my personal skincare routine for the AM. Of course, I always start with a cup of coffee because life and I'm excited to show you all of the products that I use and the order that I'm using them in and then also how much you should be using of each of these products. Step one is going to be using the clarifying daily cleanser which has activated charcoal. Now on an ideal situation, I have cleansed my face the night before so I'm not necessarily removing makeup in the morning. However, you can use this both for PM and AM, so it does remove makeup, but you can also use this in the morning if you don't have makeup on. Now, if I have makeup, I use about six pumps of this, and I do wanna show you what it looks like on the back of my hand because it's pretty cool. The consistency of this is more like a lotion type creamy cleanser. This is not a foaming cleanser. What that means is it doesn't have sulfates and it's not going to foam. It's not going to overstrip your skin and remove your natural oils like detergents mainly do when they're foaming. So as you can see, it's just a beautiful, nice consistency. It's so soothing. This is really great to help to clean out your pores to help reduce acne, and it's also great for aging skin. A few tips when you are cleansing your face, make sure that you are never pulling down on your skin, and this is true for the entire skincare process, so make sure that whenever you are applying a serum or cleansing your face, you are always think of giving yourself a little mini lift. I want you to think of your skin as a ripe tomato, where that skin is very delicate, and if you scrub too hard, you're gonna break the skin, and you're gonna ruin the whole tomato. So just think of cleansing your face and applying products as that very delicate, delicate skin that's on the top of a very ripe tomato. And when you're applying your cleanser, you wanna think of that in the same way. So you wanna be pushing up and across on the forehead and the nose. I just take my two fingers and I will cleanse in little tiny circular motions. And around my eye, you're always going to use the very gentlest finger, which is the ring finger, and you can just clean away. After I've cleansed my face, I'm going to move on to step two. Step number two is going to be toning my skin. So I'm going to show you three different options depending on your skin type. If you have sensitive skin, there is the Calm, which is the Lavender Chamomile. And this is basically going to be really great for your skin if you have sensitive skin, if you have any imbalance in your skin where you get in irritation. If you have oily skin or acneic skin, I would recommend using the Fresh, which is the Cucumber Witch Hazel Toner, which is really going to be ideal for skin types that have a lot of oil. It's great for any skin type, but if you really wanna try this, um, skincare routine to be personalized. This would be really great for anyone that's dealing with large pores, oily skin, or acne. Now for dry skin or mature skin, aging skin, I highly recommend the Glow. The Glow is going to be aloe vera and rose water, so it's very soothing, very hydrating. It's just a beautiful, wonderful toner for aging skin. It's important that you know that all of these toners are fragrance-free, so these are the actual fragrances from the plant. Toners really help by balancing the pH of the skin and they also help to remove any residual makeup or cleanser that's left on the skin after the cleanse. So you would just apply four or five pumps to a cotton pad and then just wipe your face and onto your neck. After I've toned my face, step number three is going to be applying a serum. I highly recommend using the Collagen Serum, which is going to be a plumping serum. It works really well in the daytime because you can apply makeup or sunscreen very easily over this product. You would just use a couple pumps of this product. You only need a pea-sized amount of serum and you would basically just apply this in light padding motions all over your skin. And the reason why I really like applying the collagen serum in the AM versus in the PM is because I can easily put my foundation or any type of uh, CC or BB cream over this serum. It works really well. And then of course you always wanna take the product onto your neck in an upward motion. 
The reason why I apply collagen serum is because it's a collagen booster so it's going to help plump my skin, it's going to help my skin repair any fine lines or wrinkles and really give me that youthful beautiful glow all day long. Following my collagen serum, I'm going to apply the vitamin rich daily moisturizer over my collagen serum and I'm just going to take just a little bit of this and just distribute this all over my skin and onto my neck. A common misconception is that serum replaces your moisturizer and that's not true at all. You want to make sure that you're always applying a moisturizer even if you're using a beautiful serum and the reason is because a serum is very highly concentrated but it doesn't necessarily distribute moisture all over your skin because it soaks in really quickly into the skin and it absorbs and it does different things than keeping the skin hydrated all day long. So applying a moisturizer on top of your serum is really going to help you keep your skin hydrated and moisturized properly so that you don't overproduce oil throughout the day and it's also going to help balance the skin because your skin won't be working so hard to make its own oil and moisturize itself. After I have moisturized my skin, I'm going to apply eye cream and this is the under eye nourishing cream. This helps with dark circles, with fine lines, with puffiness. So basically everything that you need in an eye cream. And I'm just going to take my ring finger and I'm just going to apply just a little bit right here. I really like an eye cream that allows me to apply makeup over this so I have no problem with applying a concealer over this or a foundation over this eye cream. It's not going to ball up or roll, it's just going to absorb really quickly into my skin. It's the perfect consistency and it just does wonders. It's just the best, best eye cream to really help prevent aging and wrinkles and dark circles and we're almost there so basically that is a great routine that you can follow now if you want to take it an extra step and if you have dry skin like myself or if you have any type of wrinkles or problems with your foundation really settling into your lines throughout the day I'm going to give you one extra tip and that is that you can use the rose hip oil so I want to specify because we have two products we have the rose hip night serum and then there's the rose hip oil so I'm talking about the rosehip oil. The rosehip oil is basically just rosehip oil. So the rosehip night serum is a great combination of a few other products and ingredients that are really like a beautiful, heavy, rich, moisture night serum. So I'm talking about just 100% rosehip oil. Now you can take a few drops of this and apply this onto your skin before you apply your foundation. And what that's going to do is it's really going to help your foundation become a little bit more flexible and movable and it will help to keep it that nice, dewy, beautiful glow all day long right underneath your foundation. You can even go as far as to mixing this into your foundation on your hand if you want before you apply with your beauty blending sponge or your flat top kabuki. And that's really going to help the consistency of your foundation to give you that beautiful, flawless glow all day long. So if you have a foundation that's just a little bit too heavy coverage and it's not very movable and it just needs a little bit of movability, then you can add in the rose hip oil. Just like one or two drops is going to do a fantastic job to help your foundation glide on and look beautiful all day long. And that's basically it. So if you have any questions about this skincare routine or why I would use a product over another one, just let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to always help. And honestly, um, I do want to put a little side note in there that if you are starting a new skincare routine or you're using new products, you have to give it at least four to six weeks to really see the benefits of using skincare. Now, you will see small improvements, of course, you should, within the first couple uses, but to really see 
a drastic change in your skin, you have to give yourself at least a month or a month and a half to really see those results. You have to think of it as like a diet. So of course you're gonna feel great after the first few couple days that you're dieting, but if you really wanna look in the mirror or compare before and after pictures, to a diet plan or an exercise routine, it's going to take you at least four to six weeks to really compare and see a huge difference. So I want you to keep that in mind when you are trying new skincare or a new skincare routine, and this will really help you stick to it because it's really going to make a difference in the long run versus expecting a miracle within the first couple times that you've used a product. So I hope that's helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video and for subscribing to my channel. If you do hit that subscription bell, you will get notified when I'm releasing new videos on my channel, and I would love to hear from you Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it and I want you to have a beautiful day. Take care.